Ready. Safe and sound at home now, and perhaps now I can get on with preparing for my fantastic dinner party. Oh. Empty for big trousers! Okie dokie, me old spunky cock spy! <laughs> now then, I've invited Tarby, Lynchy, Parky, Brucey, Tommy O'Connery, and you and me. Have we sufficient comestibles? Oh, well, uh, I don't know about that, but here's the grub. <laughs> Good Lord, Eddie, how did you get so much meat in your trousers? <laughs> That's what all the girls say. <laughs> Smart is the last recourse of the emotional cripple, Eddie. It's a psychological truism, but people talk about that which they cannot do. Oh, and is that why you're always talking about acting, plot pants? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps there is a land beyond the oblivion of brain death, Eddie, where your cryptic observations will be understood. But to us earthlings, they are mere mashed potatoes. So keep them to yourself! Richie, it's your choice. I can either stuff the meat into the oven, you into the oven, or the oven into you. Which is it to me? The former. Someone said. Well, that was the one where the oven meat. went in. Look, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter! Tarby's coming round in ten minutes and we haven't cooked the thing. Let's please get this stuff in the oven. Right, you have I'll never get it all in. Oh, huh? Sounds a bit rude. <laughs> I think I'm going to need something to lever it in with. Oh, huh? Sounds a bit rude. <laughs> no matter how much I stuff him, there's still loads more waiting to be pushed in. Oh, huh? It sounds even ruder than it was before. <laughs> Thank you for these observations, Eddie. I just so feel that every culinary exchange should be accompanied by the mad rantings of a brain-dead vegetable. Right, there we are. It's a light. Who is Tommy? Oh, God! Oh, God, Tommy's here! Oh, God, it's Parky! It's Tommy! It's Lynchy! The whole gang's here! For God's sake, don't do anything rude, Eddie! Right. Oh. <laughs> Hope I'm not late, lobies. Here. I bought you a bottle of wine, but I drank it in a taxi. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot I'd invited you, filthy. <sighs> You're hardly going to impress my showbiz friends. I'd be impressed if you had any friends, Richie. Right, that's it! I'm, I'm serious, that's it! Your invitation's withdrawn. Go away now. Oh, go on, daughter. Do me a favour. <gasps> Where's your sense of humour? Only a bijou joquette. Who? Joke? Oh. <laughs> of course I'll impress your friends. We'll make a bone a little tea. The financial artist, the theatrical artist, and the piss artist. <laughs> it's going to be a truly magical evening. <laughs> right, Those candles burn down first. <laughs> oh, keep it to yourself, Eddie. Much time has passed. Oh, I'm swathed in melancholic pathos. <laughs> oh, uh. Shut up, Eddie. I think you've been stood up, Richie. Oh, uh. <laughs> Oh, shut up, Eddie. <sighs> After all I've done, I've done a show in a peep show, I've robbed a supermarket, I've been to prison, and the rotters haven't even turned up. Fate deals me blow after blow. Oh, uh. <laughs> What time did you put on the invites, love? Well, eight o'clock. Look, I've got them here. Tarbies, Bruce's, Lynch's, and... <laughs> I forgot to post the invites. 